Hi guys, it's Malia from MacFam Fun, and I just wanted to do a video really fast. Um, I haven't done uh, any beauty products in a while, oh, and bath stuff. So I want to do uh, kind of like a double video today. Um, I already did one earlier with my son, which was a lot of fun because he never gets to do anything fun with us. No, I'm kidding, just not on YouTube. So I want to give him a chance. But anyway, so go check that out. Uh, I just wanted to do a, like I said, a duo video. So I am going to start with the, um, I guess it would have been February for this month, the Ipsy bag. So I am doing the February Ipsy bag. So I'll start by telling you what the envelope looked like. <laughs> the envelope. Well, the pouch. It looks like an envelope. See? Look. Isn't that cute? Okay. I'm still getting used to my camera views here. Anyway, so it says seal with a kiss and it has heart and look at the little back. I think it's supposed to be like a pair of lips. Isn't that cute? So very cute. So I thought the pouch was pretty cute. Um, it's just um, snaps together like that. So it's pretty durable, I suppose. I mean, I don't know exactly what you would use it for, but it's awfully cute. It might make a good gift for somebody. Anyway, moving right along. I was not overly impressed, though, with what was inside the bag this month. I'm starting to kind of feel that way a little bit about Ipsy. Um, their stuff is hit and miss, so um, I don't know. Maybe they'll change my mind in the future. Sometimes I think that, and then I get a really good bag. So let's start with what was inside this one. Um, it came with this stuff, and I've used these things a couple times. I wanted to try to get an idea of how I felt about them before I made a video. And I didn't really have a lot of time to um, do that with some of my previous bags. But this time I actually had a couple times to use everything. Be like, hmm. Okay, so this is called Gloss Me. And it is a cannabis sativa seed oil hair serum so it is supposed to make you go from like frizzy to straight and uh, it moisturizes things like that so it's got all kinds of different oils and proteins in it um, anyway so it's basically a hair serum and this is what it looks like it's called gloss me and you don't get a whole lot in the bottle but you don't need a whole lot when it comes to things like this. So this is actually a pretty good amount, really. It doesn't look like a lot. But for what it's used for, it shouldn't take a whole lot in your hair. Now, I smelled this and I thought that it was just okay. I mean, it has a kind of a nice clean scent. But uh, it's really light. Like, you can't smell it too, too much. But anyway, so I tried this in my hair and I have got some problem here as y'all can see it looks a little bit better because I went and had it done but um I have a lot of problems with my bang growth on this side of my hair uh, ever since I had especially my son and I don't know if it was from the hormones of breastfeeding or whatever but uh, my hair does not grow well on uh it grows slower on this side of my head so a lot of times in my videos you will see that my bangs look crooked and i you know i'm not getting them cut like that on purpose it's just that they grow really weird and uh, i hate that uh, it drives me crazy so right now they look okay because i actually had somebody style them for me and try to um you know do some conditioning treatments on it but it is something I struggle with, and I also got some new vitamins uh, that I'm going to be starting soon, and hopefully they'll help with that. But back to this product. So, um, you know, I like to use this stuff to get all of everything to sit down and smooth out, and I thought this was just okay. It really was not that impressive. It really did not do the job that good. In my opinion, I thought that it was just okay. It's probably expensive, if I had to take a guess. It's made by Design Me. Anyway, I prefer the um, oh, John Frieda Frizzies. And I don't even know if they still make that. My aunt was nice enough to give me like all of her supply of that. And I highly recommend Frizzies. It works very well. And that's what I use in my hair today. And you can see that it's setting down nicely. Um, and so if you're looking for something for your hair... I probably would not suggest this uh, gloss me. I don't think it's that great. I wasn't that impressed. And maybe you will. Everybody should try it. Give it a try. Why not? <laughs> but I can't make any guarantees that it's going to be great. So, 
Anyway, the next thing was Ahava. Ahava, yes, that sounds right. Anyway, Dead Sea um, Concentrate. Basically, it is a supreme hydration cream. Um, let's see. It is so hard for me to read these because I am supposed to wear glasses and I don't. I was trying to figure out the... It just says apply daily to clean face and neck. I think I use this. I will take any kind of moisturizer that anybody sends me. So this was pretty typical, I think. I don't even think it really had much of a smell. So hey, you know, probably good to just put this on before you go to bed at night. Um, it was pretty typical to me. I wasn't like blown away by it, but I've only used it like one time. So that was the other uh, product in there. I don't really have a whole lot to say about it other than it's just kind of typical moisturizer. So I wasn't really overly impressed with that one either. Here's something I was impressed with. Okay. So I got this NARS high pigment long wear eyeliner so this is what it looks like in the box and it is a not a mechanical pencil you have to sharpen this and i've used it a couple times in uh, obviously i need to get going on the sharpener part but i thought this was really good it is really long lasting it doesn't smudge stays on really good. I've tried it a couple times. I have it on right now. Look how dark and nice it goes on. Yeah, this is way better than the eyeliner they sent me in uh, the selfie box review I did not too long ago. Way, way better, guys. So NARS, I guess. I'm going to guess that's what they call it. Some of these products, I'm like, okay, who knows if I'm saying everything right. But I mean, really, it looks like NARS, right? So Try this. This is good. I don't really know how much this retails either. I don't really look into that stuff as much as I should. And I kind of just ignore the little pamphlet that comes in with the Ipsy bag. My bad, you know? Okay. So, the next thing is mail. Let's guess if that's how this is pronounced. You guess, okay? There it is. Okay. This, I was like, oh, it's blush. This is kind of very similar also to the selfie box because last month or whatever it was, yeah, I guess that was the January a selfie box. It, they had something like this too, but it was like really dark red. If you watch my review on it, you saw it. And uh, I told you that it was very drastic. And I thought, oh, this is a blush. And it probably could work as a blush, but this is actually an all over, um, an all over powder for your face. And anyway, so this was a little bit better than that one too in this healthy box. Uh, it goes on uh, and it kind of gives you like a tan tone, but you do kind of like that brush off the beach or whatever they want to say. But anyway, you do need to go over it probably with powder just to blend it in good. I got it on right now so you can see that it doesn't look drastically orange or <laughs> But I blend it with powder, too. So, I think it's nice. I think it's good. I would use this again. So, that was a good product. And, last but not least, see, I felt like this bag was easy to go through really fast to make its own video. Uh, so, I am doing some other stuff with you guys, too. This is called Love You First Perfect Eyeshadow Duo. This is what it looks like. I used it, I think, once. I don't have it on right now. I've got silver eyeliner, or <laughs> eyeshadow on right now. Uh, anyway, I like the shimmer side, but they, these two do go well together. Um, I personally prefer a uh, shimmer eyeshadow. I love shimmery eyeshadow, so of course I like that side the most. But anyway, so that's all that came in this, I think. So let's see, that would have been one two, three, four, five. Yeah, five products. That's what you typically get in your Ipsy bag. So, I don't know. I thought it was just okay. The cutest part was the cute bag that it came in. Mm -hmm. So, maybe next month will be better. I hope. <laughs> okay, so that's all I have to say about that because we need to move on to some other things. Let's see. I love my candle up here, so I'm just going to stand up and grab it. As you can see, guys, I'm like cash today in my 1980s Adidas shirt. And you know, this actually is from the 80s. It used to be my dad's shirt, and I just love this shirt. It's really comfortable. <laughs> He's probably like, what happened to that Adidas shirt I had? Well, it's on me, okay? See, at least it's still, still getting used after all these years, you know? 
I'm, he probably had this when I was a little girl. You know, I'm an 80s girl. <laughs> anyway, I'm just shooting the breeze with you guys today and wasting time. Okay, I'm sorry. All right. Ah, so, my daughter was at her friend's house. My husband was at his job. And my son was taking a nap. So, guess what I did? I took a bath. <laughs> And it was great. I'm not going to tell you all about it, okay? So, let's see. I have to start with this because this is the best part of the bath. I don't want to catch my sleeve on fire. <laughs> I have my candle around. We'll talk about that in a minute. Okay. Uh, I'm a little goofy today. I don't know what my deal is, okay? Anyway, I was so excited to try this. Look at this, guys. It's called Soak Ease Hemp Therapy Bath Soak Set. Oh, I was so happy about this when it came in the mail, and I ordered it, and I probably spent way too much money on it, guys. This was like uh, $13 or so after tax on Amazon, but let me tell you, I think it was probably worth it. <laughs> anyway, I loved it, I thought it was really cool. So anyway, what it is, is, and I even saved the bag so you guys can see it. And this, obviously, it looked better when I took it out of the box. But it comes with these, um, like, you know, lavender, and then it had um, salt in it. Well, obviously, that's dissolved in the bathtub. I just wanted to give you an idea of what it looked like, so I just saved the bag. It looked better when I put it in there, but whatever. But you can see that the material it's made of is very thin, so it's going to go into your bath. And um, then it had this very long string on it. So you can hang this off of your... Uh, you know your faucet and then it, the water will go around it if you don't want it floating around your body i just let it float in the bathtub because that kind of thing doesn't bother me and i thought you know then it goes m more through the bath or whatever i thought ah anyway so let's see what you do is you run warm water uh in your bathtub okay it comes with these instructions and then you pour a vial of contents, which I even saved the vial to show you how much you get. Try here. And that is, um, they just say the vial of contents, but it's like some kind of um, special uh, oil. Um, basically a hemp seed oil. And it smelled really good, I'm sure. So, yeah, it smells awesome. Anyway, I love this part. So you like get the water going and then you empty this into your bathtub and you could just see like the oil on the surface of the water. Um, and then, uh, let's see, what does it say? Drop the bath tea into your drawn bath water and then you let it steep in there. And I just obviously left the, the tea bag in the bath while I took my bath. And it was very, very soothing. And that hemp seed oil was very soft filling. So it made my skin very soft. Anyway, um, I thought it was very good. And ironically, like, <laughs> I know it's called bath tea or whatever, but it almost had like a tea smell to it too. And that lavender was just so fresh and nice. But anyway, they have other uh, scents here. I just feel like I'm going on and on. But you know what? Too bad because I really like this. And I don't know. Oh, there it is. As I said, I had a handout. A little handout. I call it a handout. Whatever. Anyway, it came with it. And let's see. You can get uh, lavender, chamomile, rose, eucalyptus, rosemary, lemongrass. Uh, I would love to be able to. And this says available in two box assortments. So you actually get more in these big boxes. That is probably costly. But um, yeah. If I find this at a better price, hopefully in the future, I definitely is going. I'm definitely going to buy it. And then if I, I have extra money, I might just spend another thirteen dollars and get that again. It was just so nice. I have nothing but good things to say about Soak Ease. So look it up on Amazon and buy yourself one because you deserve some me time. Okay. Now while I was in the bath. I did a face mask. I did another Freeman face mask. And you guys might remember I did one of these before. And this came in the little set that I got for Christmas for my lovely sister Christina. And CPK Parent, I think, is her her little handle on YouTube. Is that what you call it? <laughs> I hope I I hope I said the right thing, Christina. Anyway, 
So, shout out to her. But anyway, this was a sweet tea and lemon peel off mask. Okay, I'm going to tell you all about how I felt about this. I always feel like in this particular set that they don't give you quite enough. But what do you expect when you get like 12 different packs in the package? I mean, they're not going to give you like the most generous amount. But it's just enough to try it out. And so I thought that this had a really weird smell to it. And... I was like, eh, I don't know. It kind of smells like... <laughs> now, of course, see that. I'm not trying to complain because actually I ended up loving this. But it, it kind of had like a, a nail polish <laughs> remover scent to it. <laughs> but when I put it on my face, I was like, wow, this is so nice. Like, it made my face feel so awesome. It had like a cooling effect to it. And it's called a clearing mask. So, I don't know what that does because it's very hard to read it. <laughs> I really need to get those glasses. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. So, where was I going with it? So, yeah. So, it had this cooling effect that I was really impressed with. And, you know, the best thing about it, though, I mean, so once you get past that, then you're like, wow, this doesn't smell great. But, yeah, it makes my face feel pretty good and then uh it, it peeled off so good i have never done a peeling mask that peeled off my face as good as this one did so yeah i would say good job freeman on that because some of these masks are very hard to get off and this one was not i was actually very impressed with it so i would definitely buy another pilly mask from Freeman, but I would maybe just pick a different scent. Maybe not pick sweet tea and lemon. So, but really I actually have more good things to say about this than bad. So, not bad at all. Okay? Alright, so I did that. And inside my bath, I also did a bath bomb from Naga Living. And here's the box for that. I don't know if I've ever showed you guys this before. It's getting empty. Um, this is so nice. So if you want to buy some bath bombs, Naga Living, really nice. Um, originally there was a ton load. I don't know how many. 20 bath bombs. And look, I'm down to only a few left in the box. Um, but the one that I used was the same one. That, they give you like a couple of each. Then like you get 20 and you get, um, two of each scent, I think. But anyway, this was called Sweet Lemon. And they're kind of like tie-dyed looking. You can see that it's like green and white and, and yellow. Anyway, this is the one that I used in the bathtub today. Um, they are very kind of on the small side. I mean, the only thing that would make them better is if they were a little bit bigger. But they smell so good. And my daughter, she loves to use these too. So I've let her borrow some of them too. So we are running low on these. We have to reorder. But anyway, I highly recommend this brand if you like bath bombs. So I used that in my bath today. Very nice. Tended the water kind of yellowy, which is kind of weird for a bath, but whatever. Um, I don't know. I liked it. I thought it would smell awesome. And then um, I also have to talk about this. I guess I left the lid up, up above. I'm not going to stand back up and get it. This is called the Basil Scent. Uh... Myers Clean Day Candle. I like this Myers Clean Day brand now. I'm starting to like this more and more. I'm thinking about getting their soap, their hand soap. I've got it on my list to, to probably buy. But anyway, this smells awesome. And it says that it's basil scented and it, I don't know. I don't know if it smells exactly like basil, but man, does it smell like spring. It's like perfect. And here I am burning it in the middle of winter. I probably should have waited a little while, but... I just couldn't wait any longer. And my mom got me this, I think, off of the wonderful Amazon. And this is a pretty reasonably priced candle, too. I think it's about $4.99. Pretty sure my mom got me that. Anyway, um, what was I going to say about it? Oh, yeah, so I would totally buy another one. And I recommend these candles. And it does come with a lid, like I said, so it's good for travel and all that wonderful stuff. Okay, the next few things are not that exciting, but I'm going to tell you about them anyway. These were called Pop Diva. I use these in the, in the, with my bath today, too. This was a vanilla, what is it called? Vanilla Sugar Scented Body Wash. This was the Coconut Paradise Body Lotion. Now, 
The body lotion smelled pretty good and the texture was pretty nice. So not too bad, not too shabby. This is all by Body and Earth. This, on the other hand, uh, not so great. You know how when you buy your kids, and this does kind of look like maybe it's geared towards a preteen or a young teenager or whatever. So I wasn't expecting big things from this. I know that uh, Body and Earth do make lots of gift baskets and for all ages. So, um, but this product was kind of like when I was getting ready to say, like when you buy your child a, a bath and body set and uh, the soap comes out kind of clumpy or whatever. I can't even explain what I mean. Like a gel, jello like uh, texture instead of coming out nice and smooth and thick. And that's how this was. So I was like, man, it's okay. It smells good. It smells good out of the bottle, but it just doesn't, I don't know. There's just something about it that I really wasn't impressed with. So I don't know how I feel really about Body and Earth products. I've never gotten one of their uh, baskets. This, I, I got all this stuff on sale anyway after Christmas. It was an after Christmas sale at Walmart. This came with like two um, bath bombs that looked like a pair of lips or whatever. It was a really cute set. But I mainly got it for my daughter. But hey, if she's going to borrow my stuff, I'm going to borrow her stuff too. So I like the little gimmicky looking comic book people in there. But meh, it's just okay. I guess this review has a lot of stuff on it that I wasn't really crazy about. <laughs> except that Sokies and this candle, right? Okay, um, but I do like this one last thing that I used. It's called Strictly Curls. I've used this a few times. Uh, anyway, uh, I just put this in my hair to kind of try to get it to be smoother again. Uh, I have a lot of flyaways like here and here, like in the sides of my hair. So I used this when I was in there and then just rinsed it out. You don't leave it on very long. But I would say this is pretty good. This is a Mark Anthony True Professional Strictly Curl. So if you're looking for something to kind of tame your hair, this is a good one. Okay, guys. That's about it. I was going to tell you about my drink. <laughs> I always take a drink when I'm in the bathtub. Um, so anyway, I I guess I could show you that can real fast. Here I go again. <laughs> anyway, so this is it. I drank bubbly wise in there. I'm drinking bubbly a lot today. It's sparkling water and I like the blackberry kind the most. And I like the cherry kind, and if you don't like either one of these, then you're probably not going to like bubbly. I know a lot of people that don't like it, but I think it's very refreshing, and it's really good. So, I, if you like sparkling water, give this one a shot, too, because it's really good. Um, anyway, what was I going to say? I got all distracted because my air freshener thing just <laughs> went off. <laughs> okay, um, I was just going to say one last thing, um... So tonight is Saturday night, and I'm going to have myself a little bit of wine tonight and spoil myself. I've kind of been pampering myself today because um, on Monday I have to go get a colonoscopy. Tomorrow is not going to be a fun day for Malia. So, you know, I feel like when you know you need to, you should pamper yourself. So I highly recommend that you all do something nice for yourself. Um, I know this video is going on 30 minutes. You're probably bored out of your gourd. I probably lost all of you by now. <laughs> anyway, I hope not. <laughs> but I just uh, thought I would take the time to make a little bit of an extra long video for you guys today. And don't forget to watch my Jerry O'Berry's video. And I'm pretty sure that Abby's going to want to do a video tonight too. Because she was like, what? You're making videos without me. So I'm sure we'll do something with her in the very near future. But anyway, guys, have a great weekend and wish me luck on my procedure. Yippee! I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!